welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you our baby must-haves from 12 months to 18 months old. So this is everything that Jackson has been loving and using the most since he became one. And I have made lots of videos like this in the past, but if you have a different aged baby, definitely go and check out those videos. I will link them down below. I made a newborn one, three to six months, and six to 12 months. So this is the next one in the like series that I'm doing. So I really hope you like this. Give it a big thumbs up if you like these kind of videos and I will know to make more. And yeah, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe, it's free, and I would love to have you as a viewer. So yes. Without further ado, I'm gonna start out with my essentials and then I'm going to do toys and then I'm gonna do snacks as well. Let's start out with the basics and these are the nappies or diapers that I have been loving this time around. These are pull-ups, these happen to be pampers, but these are just so great. If you have a very wriggly baby that wants to walk away or crawl away while you're trying to change them, you can slip these on really easily like pants, but then when they dirty the nappy, you can easily rip the sides so you can take them off if they're messy, etc. Also, there is a little sticky bit on the back so when you have a full nappy, you can roll them up and like you can put the sticky bit across it. And I just found them really handy this time. Hold everything in, etc. So I'm loving those. And then in terms of barrier cream, my favorite kind this time has been this one. It is Bepanthum. Jackson's skin can be a little bit sensitive and I have found that this barrier cream and also the Aveeno barrier cream I really like um, have been the best ones for him. We have also been loving baby sleeping bags and every night when I put Jackson to bed, I will put him in a little baby sleeping bag and he will go to bed in that. And no matter how much he rolls around during the night, he will still have a cover on him because he's wearing the sleeping bag. And because this is now part of his routine, even when he sees the sleeping bag or we just slip it on him, he knows it's bedtime and he goes to bed really well. Next up, I wanted to show you the baby stair gates that we chose, and I do have a baby proofing video coming out very soon, and these will feature in that, but I wanted to show you them here as well, because it is definitely an essential at this age. Jackson has a very keen interest in the stairs, and it could be quite dangerous if we didn't have stair gates, and the ones that we have are seven years old. I got them when I had my first baby, and they've been really hard wearing. They're from a brand called Numi, and I really liked the way they look. They were like brown and silver, and they look quite sleek, but what I really liked about them is there is no bar that goes along the floor, so there isn't a risk of me or one of my kids tripping over that bar, so I really liked that. But have a look online, you can definitely get cheaper stair gates, and we even have one on Jackson's room as well, so when I'm getting ready, if I want him to just play with his toys and his ball pit in his room, I can close the stair gate there as well, and that's actually been really handy. I'm sure you have a high chair by now as well, but I wanted to give a little shout out to my IKEA high chair. It is 15 pounds and we love it. We're still using it, so easy to clean. I am on the lookout of getting a booster seat so Jackson can sit actually at the table with his brothers. So if anyone knows of a really good booster seat, let me know in the comments below. But yes, in terms of high chair, we still love our IKEA one. Next up, I wanted to mention our nappy bin or diaper bin. We have loved having this throughout, but now that Jackson has been weaned onto three three meals a day. As you can imagine, sometimes his nappies do not smell very good, and I always really appreciate that I have somewhere where I can put them where they won't smell at all. Another product that I really wanted to show you is our non-slip bath mat. I don't know about your baby, but now that Jackson is 16 months old, he wants to stand up in the bath and even walk around, and he was slipping over, so this bath mat has been great to stop him from falling over. I also wanted to mention this Munchkin bath jug. I really like having it and using it for all the boys to wash their hair. And often when I'm not using it, I will put it onto the tap. And because it's nice and soft, they won't hurt their backs on the tap. So I've just found it really handy. And while we're talking about the bath, I also wanted to show you a leave-in conditioner or detangling spray that we've been loving. Jackson has quite long and curly hair and he's the first baby that I've had like it. So I've kind of had to learn how to manage it. So I've loved being able to spray that into his hair and use my tangle teaser to comb his hair out when it's all wet. If you have any recommendations on products that I could use to like enhance his curls or make his curls like hold a bit longer, then let me know because sometimes when I brush his hair through, it's like just this huge bouffant of hair. 
This little thing is a really cool portable high chair that you can keep in your handbag. I showed it in my what's in my changing bag video and lots of you really liked it. I found it on Jojo Mama Baby and it's basically this cloth high chair that can go onto any chair and you can sit your baby in it and feed them that way. If there are no high chairs around or like we got caught out in an airport and used it there. I've probably only used it like three times but whenever I do use it I'm like this is so cool. I'm so glad I have this. My next item may not be relevant to you if you live in a warm climate, but here in the UK it has been quite cold and Jackson has been living in this all-in-one snowsuit. We've really loved it. It's from The Gap and it was actually Caleb's before his, um, so it's quite good quality. I'll try and link a similar one down below, but we really loved having it because it's nice and warm and fleecy on the inside, but also you have the option of having the feet that come with it or just putting your child in shoes. And I really like that because Jackson's a very good walker and lots of these snowsuits come with the built-in shoes, but sometimes you want them to actually wear proper shoes and it also came with the extra little like mittens as well that just like clip on. So yeah, we've really liked having that and I've had lots of comments on it as well. When it comes to Jackson's teeth, we have been using the Aquafresh little teeth on him with a tiny baby toothbrush. He really enjoys brushing his teeth and we chose to get Aquafresh because our dentist said that he thinks it's the best one because it has the most fluoride in it. So I thought it was worth letting you guys know that as well. And whenever Jackson is ill or teething or has a fever, we have been using Calpol on him. This is basically like Tylenol in the States or Canada if you're watching from there. It's baby paracetamol. You can get it sugar-free, color-free as well. Um, but we really find that this is effective with him and I always give it with the syringe that it comes with because he takes it far better with this syringe. And I really like that they do these little handy sachets for your handbag as well. So you can keep these in your handbag if you're ever out and about and your baby's unwell or when they have their injections as well. These are great to have with you. Someone commented on one of my videos that they actually put this into the syringe and it wasn't quite the five mil that it should have been. So maybe look out for that, but I just think they're really handy because you can rip off the corner and like even just squeeze it into their mouth like this. So I really like using these as well. Now onto Jackson's favorite toys at this age. He is really loving books. He will sit in the car and look through these little books for ages. He loves Peppa Pig books and he also likes these That's Not My Books. They're basically textured books. I'm, I'm sure he'd love any textured books, but we've had these for all our boys. So they just have different types of like fuzzy feeling or rough feelings or bumpy feelings throughout it. And he really seems to enjoy um, touching the textures and looking at the bright colors. So he's really enjoying his books. He also likes ones with sounds as well. He is also loving his car garage and all three of my children have loved this car garage. It is from Little People. It is Fisher Price, I believe, and it must be indestructible because all of my boys have like hung off of it or stood on it. And I also have noticed that lots of nurseries have this same garage. So it's really hard wearing and we have just bought so many little cars over time and he loves just standing there and putting them down the chute. He has also got really into ride along toys and for Christmas we got him this little ride along fire engine from my first year. So that was really cute because we personalized it as well and he loves just pushing it around or sitting on it while he's in the kitchen. We've got that and also this little ride along mouse that he really enjoys playing with. He also loves play mags. This is definitely a toy that is for older boys because this was Fraser and Caleb's toy. They're basically these little tiles that magnet together so you can build things. But he really likes when I build towers and then he knocks them down. And he also sits there for ages just pulling the magnets apart and putting them back together again. He also likes blocks and he can kind of build these little towers now himself. But again, he loves when I build like a block tower and he just like knocks it all down. He really enjoys that. And I like the blocks as well because they have numbers and letters on them. I will say, oh, this one's got an A on it. This one's got a one or two or whatever it is. And I think that over time he will definitely pick that up. He likes stacking things in general and he really enjoys this Melissa and Doug stacking toy. We got him this for Christmas and we basically just take all the little things off of it and he will sit there and put them all back on. He hasn't quite got them in the right like color, coded order or anything like 
like that, but he really enjoys putting them back onto the spokes that are on the game. He also loves balls and playing catch. He particularly likes this blue textured ball, and he also loves cooking toys. We have lots of fun food and tea sets as well, and he will play with his little teacups for ages. And recently, he has started to love um, like his little baby buggy and doll. We don't actually have one at home, but whenever we go to a play group that has a little baby buggy, he will put the doll in and then like run around with it for ages. So I need to get him one. His favorite TV show is Peppa Pig and his favorite movies are Trolls and Sing as well. In terms of baby beakers, these three are probably his favorite. We have the good old Tommy TP beaker, which I have used for so many years on all of my children. I just think it's so simple and convenient and it never leaks in my bag. So I really rate these beakers. But for nighttime, he has his milk a little bit warmed up in this. I'm still breastfeeding a tiny bit, but the majority of his milk now comes out of this newbie beaker and I love it. And I've actually made a video about transferring from the breast straight to a beaker if you wanna see it. So I'll link it down below. Um, but yeah, it's just really soft to the top. And the next beaker that I wanted to show you is this one. It's really cool because it has a weighted straw. So even if he goes like this, like the weight and the straw sort of follows along with the way that he is putting the beaker. So I think that's actually really convenient because sometimes they don't know whether to use the straw or go like this. So yeah, we quite like that as well. And in terms of snacks, he loves breadsticks, he loves hummus, he loves all kinds of fruit, he loves baby crisps, he loves little baby biscuits like these ones. These ones are Ella's Kitchen. He still loves a little fruit pouch. This is Ella's Kitchen as well. And I have these more as a snack than a meal because he will now eat like a sandwich and an actual meal like meatballs, spaghetti, stuff like that. But these are great to have in your bag when you're out and about. He will literally just squeeze the whole thing into his mouth in like two seconds flat. We also buy like yogurty ones like this. And then these are little like fruit flakes. These are bear claws. Um, and yeah, we love these because they are basically like sweets to him. It's just dried fruit, but they taste so good to him. So yeah, he really likes these as well. And the last thing that I wanted to show you is some clothing. And I rarely show clothing in my favorites because Jackson is the youngest of three boys and he never gets anything new. But I'm really loving the Baby K clothing at Mother Care. It's Myling classes range and it's really funky. I got him this little t-shirt that says play, which I thought was a little bit like YouTube and pause. And they just do some really funky clothes that don't look that babyish and they're just quite unique and cool. I got this one, Always Awesome, and then I got a white one that said Never Bored. And then these little cool like striped trousers. I know they're like a little bit out there. But yeah, I really like her range of clothing. So I thought that it was worth sharing that with you as well. But yes, that is it for this video. I really hope you liked our favorites and essentials. Let me know in the comments below what your favorites and essentials are from 12 to 18 months old. Um, because I think that's always really useful for everyone else to read in the comments. And yes, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.